Grand rising gods, goddesses, kings, queens, what's goes on on YouTube? I'm about to bring you the word of the day for September 30th, 2020. I have already sat with my team. I already shuffled the cards. And I'm about to bring you the tea. What messages do you have for the overall energy for the YouTubers on September 30th, 2020? They say in, um, October 1st is the uh, full moon in Aries. That's a good time to go outside and connect with the moon. So if you want to do, burn a candle, do what you do. The best time to do it is at the night at full moon. I'm hearing 12 midnight. 12 a.m. I'm sorry. 12 midnight. Early Friday morning. That's what I'm trying to say. Spirit of sin, have faith in your dreams. A lot of y'all are letting these naysayers, these sleepers, crush your dreams. Spirit is saying you don't have enough faith in yourself. If you always had a dream that you was going to be a doula, someone is sitting on it. Spirit is saying it's time for y'all to go reach out and search and find someone to be this doula because that's what I'm seeing. Um, I don't know why they show me Erica Badu uh, face because she is a doula. Um, she learned through Queen Afua. Um, if anybody know who Queen Afua is, I'm hearing that it's really necessary for you to be this doula. It was destined for you to be this doula. There's a lot of, <clears throat> messing with my throat chakra, there's a lot of people a lot of minority people are, are suggesting to do home births and there's not enough uh, minority doulas. So Spirit is saying, y'all need to get the stepping on that. Whoever this is, you're sitting on your dream. Have faith in your dream because you're going to be a very good doula, a very blessed doula. Because you're spiritual, you get to be the first person to anoint the blessing on a baby coming into the world that's spiritual like you and I. So whoever I'm talking to, if it's meant for you to be a doula, it's time for you to be a doula. Spirit is also saying now is the time to whatever this personal matter, whatever this decision that you're sitting on, now is the time to make this decision before next month. You need to make this decision. Neither way it goes. Either, <clears throat> either way it goes, Spirit got you. Remember, they your ride or die. It's time to release negativity. There's no room for negativity. So they saying it's time to release it. There's no room for it. It's only room for positivity. Only thing that should be coming out of your mouth is words of positivity. Negativity is death. Okay. What messages? Can I get three cards for the overall energy for the September 29th? I gave you four on the bottom of the card is speak truth spirit is saying speak your truth that's what's going to set you free that's what makes you different from the naysayers you're not a sleeper it's time for you to start speaking the truth <clears throat> and your blessings are going to flow remember your team's not ashamed of you the most high is not ashamed of you so you shouldn't be ashamed either Spirit is also saying reclaim your power, reclaim your energy, reclaim your throne, reclaim your crown, my kings and queens. It's time to reclaim your throne, my kings, queens, gods and goddesses, and know who you are. Continue to be patient. Things work in divine timing. When you patient, when God give it to you, it's going to last forever. God don't do fuck ups. Spirit is also saying this anger that y'all keep holding on to, y'all have to transmute that anger, that sadness, that depression, that happiness, whatever you feeling, transmute it into something powerful, transmute it into something that you're desiring. You are an alchemist, you are the magician, you have every tools within inside of you. It's been inside of you since beginning of time, every lifetime. 
You just forgot. You are the weaver of your own web. I don't know. There's somebody in here got mad culinary skills. It's y'all gift. Y'all have always been this way. It's always been interesting to y'all since y'all was little. Spirit is showing me y'all going to an auction. And y'all going to get one of those Scooby-Doo buses or them little short buses. I don't know. But you're going to turn it into your thing. And right now you're saying, what if people don't do this? What if coulda, shoulda, woulda? How do you know if you don't try it? People love food. Do your reasonable prices. Sell what you're worth. Go to places where people can't go get something to eat like because they take public transportation to work. Go around a lot of places that people are and it's too busy. They can come out of their office building and get something to eat and go back. Practice the mask and gloves, of course. But whoever this person is, you need to step out in faith and know your culinary skills. That's how you heal people. You make them feel good because you put love in your food. You're just not doing it. You, you cooking it with love. So whoever this is, you need to start doing that. Especially this person that's going to be a doula. I'm just a messenger. saying unleash the wild within this is another confirmation you have to unleash unleash your dreams stop crushing it stop letting these people question like it ain't never going to happen because of yada 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 ray 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 they doing that because they don't want you to do that because they know you have potential move into this new direction spirit is saying you have a traveling spirit. You cannot be put in, put in that box. You are alpha female, alpha male. You can't. You're restless when someone tries to control you. You know you can't be controlled. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. So birth these dreams into reality. Your elders are waiting for you. Like I said, those that's taking my class, I'm going to teach you how to go before the ancients, which is your elders. Your elders are the, are the ancient ones. They the one or your shamans, your master healers, things like that. They're ready to communicate with you. Spirit is saying, open up your heart to different possibilities. Start listening to the call of the raven. That's a message from the spirit world to know that they're coming. Start listening. They always make the sound. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Letting you know they're around you. Your guides are around you. Your deities are around you. And you have a message coming from the underworld. Which one, spirit? Someone, um, this is to my older people. I don't know, but someone's about to become a grandmother. They don't want to tell you yet because you're going to say you're too young for this. Sorry, but it just happened. What other message do you have for Messages do you have for them? Use me wisely. Talk to me loudly. Show me clearly. Yeah, somebody, y'all, y'all need to go do this doula and this and this uh, Scooby Doo Buses culinary. They keep showing me this. That's your passion. That's your heart. You always experimenting with food, and you always say, "Taste this, taste this," and then it's like, "Yeah, you should open up a business." Nah. Quit doubting yourself. Spirit is saying, do it. For this lady or man, whoever wants to be doula, there's men doulas too. The Spirit is saying, jump on it. Um, check Groupon. 
check different social groups. Someone's giving out discounts on it. So Spirit is saying, step, step out in faith. You got it. Felicidades, congratulations. This is the King of Cups. I mean, King of Pentacles. You are the master of your money. You the owner of everything that you're asking for. This person that's coming into your life is going to help you improve your finances. This person that's coming is very business minded. They're going to collaborate with y'all. Y'all going to be a powerful couple, a powerful team. Spirit is saying also, you got mad bags coming. Spirit is saying you have the strength of a thousand lions that walk strongly with you. Star saying you want infinity wealth. Star saying you want things infinity. That's the number eight sideways. Start writing that on your candles. Own your shit. Know your shit. Talk your shit. Because you are the queen and the king of everything that you own. It's time for y'all to look at yourself as who y'all are. Y'all not peasants. It's time for y'all to walk like that proud peacock. Anything that you're asking the divine for, the answer is yes. Don't give up on faith. Stay faithful. Stay hopeful. Stop speaking death over you. Stop saying, just say, I haven't received it yet. It's coming. You have, you have to act like you already have it. Because you birthing it. Whoever this person is, like I said, this king of pentacles is coming. It can be male or female. They already got their shit going on. They just waiting on you to get your shit going on. And they're going to make your business better. They're going to give you business ideas. Someone is going to meet someone that's going to uh, help them start up their business. Because they said they see potential in you. And they want to help you. So they're going to bless you. And this is a blessing. Spirit is saying, stop, think, stop listening to those people that are crushing your dreams. That's why you're not getting anywhere. Because you're listening to everybody but yourself and your team. It's time for you to listen to yourself and your team. Because these people don't want to see you make it. Because they think you're going to fail. But there's no fail in your resume. There's no fail written nowhere in you. God don't make failures. They showing me a lamb. They showing me a lamb. Right now, you are a lamb, and God is holding you. He's giving you the strength. He's feeding you. He's loving you. He's growing. He's making you grow into that bigger sheep. You can smell wolves. That's these naysayers, these sleepers. And Spirit is saying they're crushing your dreams. It's because you're constantly listening to them, and they're feeding you bullshit. They planting a seed, and it's time for you to get that seed out. So you need to get some weed gone and get rid of that. Because God didn't make failure. You were destined for greatness. It's time for you to lift your head up and know who you are. The sun shines on you. It never sets on you. God is giving you these gifts because you deserve it. Don't be ungrateful. I'm hearing a lot of y'all are ungrateful. The reason why you're not getting the bigger present is because you don't even know how to appreciate the smaller present. You're ungrateful. If you manifest in the money and say you found $5 on the ground, you should automatically be like, damn, thank you. I didn't have this $5 before. Grateful. Because if you can appreciate finding that $5, your next one might be 100 Your next one might be 1000 and the next one might be someone saying, I'm going to pay for this person's groceries. You never know. This person could see you struggling because this person could be an empath. You never know who's gifted. Like I said, you never know. You could be entertaining angels. I see someone at a grocery store and it's like this, it's a white man. And he's like telling the cashier, I don't want her to know because you're talking to your kids. They did something and you turn to talk to them. And he's like, I want to pay for her food. Here's $200 cash. I want to pay for her food and whatever's left, give it to her. That's a blessing. Someone's going to get blessed. 
Spirit is saying, some of y'all so fucking ungrateful, it ain't even funny. That's how you miss your blessings. They want to see how you're going to appreciate the small things before they give you the bigger things. Because if they was to give it to you, you're going to fuck it up. If they were supposed to give you this man or woman and you're not properly healed, all you're going to do is fill him with fuckery. And he'd be like, you got too much baggage. This ain't going to work. You keep blaming me for what he did or she did. And then he's out. And there you go. You missed your blessing because you didn't took the time to heal, to be alone and love you and know what you wanted. Some of y'all fuck up your own blessings. That's why I said be careful. Yeah, someone's about to get blessed. And when someone bless you, I know everybody's fian uh, fiance. Well, somebody's even going to get blessed for the fiance. Well, congratulations. Um, I didn't know, but y'all going to get proposed to whoever this is. Wh whatever your finances is, you can go to Dollar Tree. You can, you can go to Dollar General. It's the thought that count. Like I said, bless somebody with a $5 foot long or a dollar menu thing. Food is food right now when you're starving. If you know somebody is struggling, go buy them a loaf of bread and some milk. At least their babies can eat peanut butter, jelly sandwich, and drink milk. You never know when the hard side is going to fall on you. You don't know if this is a test. I don't know why Spirit is telling me to do this. But a lot of y'all got, y'all cup is about to overflow with. Y'all just have to give. It's like y'all always want people to give y'all, but y'all never want to give back. And Spirit is saying, no, I'm not going to give you shit because you don't know how to give to others. And then all my ones is always giving. Your cup is about to run it over because spirit is about to give you because you don't know how to receive. All you do is get. So you about to get blessed, tremendously blessed. And it's going to be tears of joy. But my people that's always in someone's pocket, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. No, it's time for you to get. It's time for y'all to be grateful. Because people didn't have to do it. That's what's wrong with the world today. People don't know how to give. People don't know how to receive. People don't know how to love. The earth needs healing and the earth needs love. So open a door for people. Chivalry needs to begin again. It's okay to say grand rising and good morning or whatever you say. If they, if they don't, Trust me, you planted that seed. That's your job, is to plant the seed. Trust me. If you walk by a person and you're always smiling, and they're like, what is wrong with that person? And watch, notice one day, spirit going to say, don't smile. And then they're going to say, what's wrong with you? you always smiling. People pay attention. They don't always show it. But a lot of y'all about to get major blessings because y'all appreciate the small things. Another thing they showing me is in the Bible, this is confirmation. Jesus made a parable about an old lady. She was in, I guess, their synagogue because it's not a church. And it was offering time. And everybody made fun of her because she only gave a penny because that's all she had. And God looked upon her out of all the people that put all big monies in. He looked upon her. He noticed her because she gave all she had and she got blessed. There's a lesson in this. I'm teaching y'all something. For y'all to get the bigger blessings, you have to give and receive. Because a lot of people, y'all sacrifice yourself because that's all y'all do is give. And God is saying, I see you, my child. You're about to be receiving things. So you're going to have to learn to be open and receive them because this is a blessing. And you will be crying with tears of joy. And those that always catch a hand in somebody's pocket, you're about to get taught a lesson because you're selfish. You're going to wonder why you're not getting things. It's because all you do is take. You need to learn how to receive. For whoever I'm speaking upon about this doula and this culinary, I'm telling you, this is a blessing for you. 
this money. This is a blessing. This is y'all gift. This is what y'all designed to do. And if, don't let people knock your dreams. Talking about it's not going to work. They're not, they don't know that. They don't have the last and final say. Most high has the last and final say. It was laid upon my heart because it was meant to be spoken. But y'all got blessings coming. Y'all have love coming. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.